This is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. And this is a Wi-Fi 6E Wi-Fi module that I'm going to be putting in here. This currently has one that supports the standard Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz, but I really want it to support more than that. So we're going to open it up and put this one in. Grab my tools really quick. There will be no cutting in this video. This one's just going to go all the way through. So let's get started. So I'll be using my modular toolkit that I have here. We'll be starting with Phillips bits. There are one, two, three, four, five, I believe to remove on this laptop. And they are screws that have retainer washers in them, so they do not come out of the case. So there's no worries about you know losing or misplacing the screws once they're undone which is a really nice design feature that I wish more companies utilized. All right, then I should just be able to peel ever so slightly the back plate off. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, just like you should do with every bit of computer repair, start by unplugging the battery, which also has these retainer screws in it really great or maybe not maybe that one's loose now for something like the Wi-Fi module you don't really have to but it is recommended just always undo the battery you know just force a habit it's not gonna take you anywhere wrong just just do it it can save you from a lot of problems and I should just be able to lift this up just like that. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in here just a bit. All right. So this is the Wi-Fi module right here. So I'm going to start by removing the two antennas and unscrewing this module. It's currently an Intel 8260. I don't know, that text is really small. We'll see in just a moment. It is an Intel 8265NGW. Don't know if y'all can see that there. But this is actually a really good card, but I want a little bit more performance. Oh, got some tape on it. comes with its own little baggie. Love anti-static baggies. Okay. And we can see that the card profiles do match up. So this is going to fit. I had checked that previously, but you know, it's always good just to see it. So we're slowly, ever so slowly going to set this in there. This is in AX20, no, an AX210, yeah, an AX210 Wi-Fi card. So we're going to secure that back in place. Looks like I trapped one of the antennas. And secured. And fortunately, these are color-coded. So... or not color-coded, duh, they're labeled. So this gray one is our main antenna and the black one is our auxiliary antenna. So I'm just gonna guide them into place and press down. And then the same for our main. Okay, that is now secured. I'm going to put the other antenna back into the anti-static bag so I can use that on another part. And then I will place it inside the case, which it did come with an extra little bracket and screw just in case I needed one. 
but unfortunately I did not. So that'll go back on the shelf and then we'll get back to it. So we're going to zoom this back out just a bit. And we're going to put the battery back in. It is one thing that I do like about Lenovo, and that is they do make their batteries quite easy to change. So that is always really nice to see. And then we will secure it back in place. I will say I am a fan of the older Lenovo models. Um, I have a 440 S. Maybe it's a 440p. Anyway, it has two batteries, one removable on the exterior, and then an internal battery for hot swapping. And I just, I am a huge fan of that feature. I got an oversized battery on that one, and I got like 19 hours of battery life on a single full charge. Um, now this one does not do nearly that good. It does have an i7, um, and it has 16 gigs of RAM, and so there's just a lot of processing going on. But, you know, still pretty decent battery life, around seven and a half hours, I think. So there are two notch or three notches on the underside of this case, which you fit in at an angle and then bend down. That's why there's no screws here on the facing edge. And then we just screw in our five retaining screws. And we are good to go. And then I will fire this up and do some testing on it just to make sure that everything is as it should be. But yeah, that is how you change the Wi-Fi card on a ThinkPad X1 Carbon 6th generation. All right, so the new card is in. We have the new Bluetooth adapter and we have the new network adapter, Wi-Fi 6E of AX210. And though it doesn't list here, it is now running Bluetooth 5.3. So I am very excited to give that a listen. And yeah, just to see the performance upgrades on this device. Which, again, it wasn't bad to begin with, but now it's so much better.